Hi, uh, yeah, so today um, was Shannon's first, uh, I call it a primer treatment before we do the umbilical cord stem cells. So she just spent 40 minutes on what's called a light emitting diode bed right here. You want to come here? So what this did was it creates nitric oxide for her brain, her head, her whole body to get more circulation and blood to the brain and, and the extremities and her whole body. And after she spent 40 minutes there, we put her on the pulse electromagnetic field therapy. So she has one for her whole body on the mat. Inside there's copper coils which deliver the pulse electromagnetic fields to, you know, cause all her blood flow to wake up the damaged nerve tissue. Um, she also has some transcranial magnetic therapy um, to also cause the left brain to communicate with the right and stimulate the premotor motor cortex. Because um, when you have a stroke, um, your motor cortex kind of forgets your extremities are there because it was the right side affected her left, causing a drop foot. Um, one thing she did have is a, a chronically clenched fist. Um, day one, I could not pry it open with all my strength, and I could deadlift 500 pounds without using straps. Look how easily I could open up the hands now with my pinky. And we could even keep it open and let the magnetic field penetrate her hands to stimulate communication with their brain. So normally it wouldn't stay open like that, right? No, not at And here's mom, could you yes. could you tell us, I mean, the difference? I mean, normally her hand would be like this all Very the time. tight, very, very tight. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't Same pry it open. You couldn't yeah. pry it open. And it wouldn't and stay yeah. open once you get it open no, like that. It, you could maybe pry it, well, you couldn't pry it, and usually you can't pry it. But once you could, it would just immediately go back. And yeah. now I it's can't open. believe that yeah. it's like open. Yeah. And let's get Amazing. Shannon's opinion here too. So could you tell us the change you felt in that hand? It's, it's open. I mean, I can feel tingling. I mean, there's a little bit of pain there. But right now there's no pain. Yeah. And normally when we would open, it's like, it's like crying one by one to get it open and then immediately it would close. Yeah. Or now it's, it stays open. Right. Well, great. Well, this is day one, and we'll keep track of the progress. Thanks for watching.